Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel Music with Todd Ledbetter. Thank you for being here. Hey, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to take a, a look at an exclusive interview with Marco from Nightwish uh, and talks about um, the split with Nightwish and his future plans. And it'll be interesting to hear uh, what he's got going on. Uh, such a fantastic artist. And so uh, let's check it out and see what it's got got to say about all that see where he's going what he's going to do good afternoon dear guys and dear ladies you're watching Kaya's Zine oh okay so hello everyone Kaya's Zine is today here at Kuopio Rock in Kuopio Finland and we have the pleasure to talk to Marko Hieta very good afternoon so, how's the summer been? Summer, it's been really hot. I've been spending most of it in Spain. Okay. Yeah, so at the, at the coastline to Mediterranean, it's been 30, a little bit over. So, so it's still bearable, but I hear that in the inland you go over 40. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's been, I guess, yeah. quite rough for the people. Yeah, I guess so. But anyways, yeah, I, I managed to get myself a kind of a... It was supposed to be a winter palace, but now I've been spending more time there. Okay, so yeah. and now you have also made a comeback to States winter to play palace. shows with Northern Kings, in, as well as a solo show. So indeed. how has it been? It's, it's been really good. But the Northern Kings, I mean, it's over 10 years far that we've done anything together. And now that we got together, it's actually been really good fun. I mean, everybody's really relaxed, in good humor and feeling good. and. And it's nice that when you have a this heavy metal vocalist job tends to be pretty heavy. You don't really have to worry about the voice that much when there's three other guys to to patch you up if you fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been sort of like very relaxed feeling to play those shows again. Yeah. And with the solo shows also it's been yeah, very nice. It's uh, I was well Everybody who, who's been reading something about what I've been doing and not doing uh, uh, well know that I consider that I might not be coming back. But I did. And now it's fun. But last year you were supposed to do the Raskas Teolo shows, but you only yeah. did like one show and then left the tour. So you weren't like ready to come back then. No, not really. And um, yeah, and that was one of the things that happened also because it's the darkest time of year and I just had way too much time to just stay in the darkness. So I got really down and uh, things went good. There was a lot of things still to be handled and taken care of and find for, find the solutions and everything, which then all this started to unravel after the new year and the spring. Okay, so that was the sort of turning point for you to get like more into light again so to say yes indeed you because well yeah well they find found this thing that i apparently i have an attention disorder it's not full full adhd but a relative close relative and after getting this medication that changes your noradrenaline amounts in your body suddenly all that anxiety in like three weeks it it just went away. I was like really surprised to find myself, hey, I'm peaceful. So how is it with playing shows when you get that massive adrenaline rush? Well, at the shows it's um, it's just totally fine to go a little bit more wilder than you <laughs> usually are. <laughs> okay, so you notice it like that way. Yeah, 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 I notice it that way. That, uh, yeah. Was it the easy decision to do these shows with Northern Kings or did you have to like think about it that do, do I want to come back and do this? Yeah, I really had to think about it and guys were asking me to either confirm or not for quite a while until I said, okay, I, I'll do it because well, it, it, I think it was in, in February this year that I said to the guys, that, okay, I'll, I'll be coming over and doing them. Things okay. are good enough for that, I, I suspect, even though they weren't that good yet at that time. but. I was already getting better. So obviously we have lived in quite different world for the past two years yeah. due to the pandemic. Yes. So what kind of like period this was for you? Was it like sort of like searching yourself again or how do you describe it yourself? Yeah, the pandemic was like it forced us to stop. And then you spend a year home thinking about things, what have gone wrong, what has gone right. And according to that, I made some decisions. 
which which were obviously to to my well-being was that I will need smaller circles for now. Okay. Maybe later, but but for now I'm I'm not going to be doing huge stages around the world. I'll leave that to some other people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was announced in January last year that you will be parting ways with Nightwish. Mm. So what went through and was it like a longer process that you had to think about before making the final decision for that? Yeah, it was a long process. Of course, the Covid year that was there and when, when I had a lot of time for soul searching, it obviously gave me the like the last incentives to that I, I need something something else that if I just continue with this I'm just gonna get sicker and sicker. And, but of course it's a process. Well I've been a chronic depressive since 2010, 2011. So I've been I've been on a permanent medication ever since. But sometimes you get you get used to the meds you will need more we did raise them during the years also but it just didn't work and now that we started i started to do them i had a psychotherapy for over four years now and then i also talked to psychiatrists and some doctors and and did that also in spain and then my psychiatrist here in finland said that i should do these adhd neuropsychological tests which i then did in spain and okay i got it but how lengthy it was like overall to do the decisions that you will leave night because i i heard that you asked from the guys like already when you were doing like promotion for human nature that you are maybe quitting the band and then they said mm -hmm. to you that maybe you should reconsider and you reconsidered and did like everything for that album yeah that i had been thinking about it for a while let's say that because of i had a lot of weight and uh, i i tend to well with the attention disorder it, it tells me that when there are lots of trouble then the disorder makes it into a real you know chaos yeah yeah, yeah. when you are overthinking yeah there's a shitload of stuff coming and going and no peace anywhere and i was uh, for a year or two i was already like waking up every night at three o'clock to bad dreams and anxiety and so i'd say that the whole process probably started already with my former divorce that was a that was a very sad time when you think about your kids and your broken homes and all that so um and then when i when i started to get clear from that then there were well all kinds of things i don't really want to go to any deeper to what kind of things i've gone through but i've yeah. gone through enough and so was it like very difficult process for you to make the human nature album because of that yeah it was and is that is, is there was, like some reason why your role was like basically a little bit smaller than it normally is no, you normally that, have quite a lot of singing parts in night yeah, I, I think that was basically the original idea was to have that we'll do a couple of solos or one solo for me and Troy and then rest floor and then the harmonies that was that was the idea originally for the so I don't know if it affected okay things. so it was sort of like as planned yeah I think it was sort of as planned but at that time I already had serious trouble with concentrating and serious trouble with with a constant black cloud over my head okay so what happened like after you made now a comeback to the band have you been like feeling well and now everything is sort of rolling again normally yeah, or? coming back with my own band yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it seems that so far because well in the smaller circle it's easy to you know just stay within a close communication with the guys and everybody knows everything and nobody has any kind of doubts about my sicknesses or anything so it, it's kind of easier to take care of it because a lot of times i already realized that i'm becoming an anchor weighing the whole group down in nightwish and it's not a nice feeling to have it's a yeah you tend to blame yourself you tend to feel really guilty about what you are uh, that's the sick thing about depression and anxiety 
that the more you have it, the more bad you feel that you're all like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but of course, I, I, I would imagine like splitting with the band you have been in 20 years is, is always rough for everybody because it's like, as you, as mm. you could put it, like a marriage that you sort of yeah. go through. Yeah, and then, then, and then you start to think that, it, that if I'm there like in some backstage corner looking like a there's a guy with his personal black cloud who's gonna well I'm just gonna be maybe ruining it for everybody so but now you are focusing more on the positive side solo stuff doing Northern King shows probably mm -hmm. gonna be involved with the Raskas Yolo again that I suspect that I cannot leave that undone <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so but how does like the overall future look have you been like creative on your own or, or has it been like difficult to be creative on the pandemic no time? not really I mean I've been writing quite a lot. There is, there's a lot of lyrical stuff and there's a lot of different pieces of music and riffs and choruses and verses that don't necessarily match into the same song. But all kinds of stuff there is, so solo album will definitely get a continuation sometime later. And you were happy with the first solo album, I guess it got yeah. very good feedback uh, everywhere and you did quite successful European tour for it. Indeed, yo. And the one thing that I really liked about the solo album myself, this is of course a little bit smug since it's my album, uh, but but the whole variety of different moods from one song to another. Yeah, it was all, very varied album. Uh, yeah, and all the songs had good, good like different identity of their own. So I think we're gonna be going with the same kind of ideology that anything goes as long as we feel it's good. So do you already have some kind of timelining? Or do you have like almost all songs ready or, no, or are you still really. like putting pieces together? Putting pieces together. There are a couple of, you know, a couple of songs on the hard disk that wouldn't probably take that long to actually finish. So something like a, give a taste or a single or something next winter, it's very much possible. But you will mm -hmm. still do music in the future, like health comes first and then yeah. when you feel the right you put out stuff and you don't yes. like have to worry too much or stress yeah. too much about it. Indeed, yo, and being in contact with different managements and booking agencies and yeah. festivals and whatever, they always try to take a piece of you with it. The more questions you ask, the more things you answer, the more <laughs> questions they will ask. That's how it goes, uh, yeah. unfortunately. So, yeah, so I just have to be really careful that I know these days to say, hey, I'm off, you finish this. <laughs> so what's the situation with Tarot? That's, uh, that's kind of open in the air. I mean, when Spire died, the drummer, of course people were asking that are we going to be doing something and we have some unfinished song stuff also on the studio hard disk and like that, which would be nice to finish, maybe sometime to play the songs, but at least for me and Janne, keyboard player, for both of us the rock and roll should be played with a grin on your face and happiness in your heart and all that. And, it feels a little bit sad. Yeah, because so the we happiness isn't there yet. Yeah, because well, we were together with the guys for over 30 years. Uh, at that time, you tend to build some kind of a brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess that band was a very strong brotherhood. Indeed, you. So I, I saw a picture of you and Tarja. It was like a year or two ago. And I guess you live now in Spain both, or, or do you? Like quite uh, closely even to each other. Not too close. If I heard right, they were living in Marbella, which is more of the southern tip, and we're we're somewhere there on the side of Mediterranean, like a halfway, okay, close by Alic Alicante. Have you had any discussions to make music now together? No, but no. I believe that the management guys have definitely <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> oh, if you could get these people together. But you would be like interested in making maybe music with her, or, or what's like your chemistry with well, her now, nowadays? Since you well, do the Rascas de Yolo together, yeah, it, and it, it was fine. We had talks about the old times and some tears in the corners of the eyes and all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So all is good with us. So actually, hmm, you never that, know. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> gotta, gotta figure out if I got some some nice song for a duet. So before we wrap theme sucks a little bit about the future. Mm -hmm. How does it look like? Well, it looks like I'm gonna be a father again. <laughs> yeah, congratulations <laughs> about that. That's yeah. a big thing. I yeah. know I have a boy who is four now. Yeah, so. it, it is a bigger thing than any of what we've been talking about here at the yeah. moment. It is a way bigger, personally. 
but yeah so that's a good thing that's a very positive and great thing but like I said there's that solo stuff which will get continuation and uh, with the Northern Kings guys it's been so fun to do the shows and be together after 10 years and something again I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we end up doing more shows or even music but so far it's been uh, just yeah. discussions yeah and I'm taking it easy if guys get into it that we could actually start then I can put it I can have some input to that but I'm not offering it I'm but you are not like feeling in a way to do a lot of touring in the future that you will do a little less and and more like focused stuff maybe yeah that that's what I thought I don't know because to be honest, I love doing shows. Uh, the, I guess every musician is an yeah. adrenaline junkie. Yes. You like uh, being on stage. Yeah, yeah, I do. I love being on stage, but it is the logistic and the personal life hassle and everything that... Um, because the show logistics are so insane. You, you spend two hours max on that stage, but you sometimes you travel for days spend nights in hotels and yeah. or sleepless your, nights yeah and all that and somehow the show that two hours maximum somehow it always gets you up oh this was worth it it was fun and all yeah that. so i love doing shows but i hate the logistics and traveling and i hate airports and i hate airplanes they're full of people those goddamn plastic tubes <laughs> i don't like them people they're fucking cancer on there the there should be some kind of teleport that you could go like in a minute Teleport would, teleport would be a real, real, real solution for these things. Yeah. I've been trying to do it by the power of will. So far it hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> hey Marco, thanks a lot mm. for the time and, and good luck for tonight's show as well as for the future. Anything okay. you want to say as a closer to the fans? It's time to rock again. It's time to rock again. Well, that was cool. Uh, kind of unexpected actually uh you really opened up to uh you know personal mental and and uh you know his well-being uh it wasn't like a rock and roll uh you know just questions about the music and stuff he was like i guess not well feeling pretty depressed i, I had no idea uh that he was going through that and he looks pretty good he looks he sounds just real aware of what's going on and and uh and also protecting himself so he doesn't fall back into that uh space that he obviously didn't want to be in and uh he's moving forward and sort of i can kind of relate uh with him in that he's playing with his uh after 10 years his old buddies because uh, that's exactly what i'm doing it's been way more than 10 years but I'm playing with friends of mine that I played as a younger man in music, and and I'm now we're all we're back together, you know, a lot of us, and it's just been cathartic. It's I'm so happy to be with these guys, and so hopefully he feels the same way, and uh, and it feels good and comfortable at home, and 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 uh, that he has people that he can talk to and things like that, and people that understand him in the in his band. Anyways, that was a fantastic interview. Super good. I was just really fascinated the whole time about the conversation and the topics that, and just the the way that they talked, conversed back and forth. It was so real. It was so not interviewee, but uh, conversational. So that was fantastic. Um, let me know what you thought of that. If you've seen it before, or what you think about uh, him leaving Nightwish and pursuing other uh, career options and also health options for himself. Uh, just leave it down in the comments. I'd love to read uh, your perspective. I'm sure you know a lot more about it. And I'd love to hear uh, the things that you guys uh, tell me and know about these different band members and bands and stuff like that. It really helps me to learn. All right. Well, so make sure you guys subscribe if you like the channel and uh, make sure you like the like button on your way out. That way, you know, algorithms and I don't know. YouTube stuff, you know, make it happen. Do it. Push the buttons. <laughs> All right. Hey, visit me over on Patreon and Ko-Fi if you want to recommend a song. I got a couple of uh, free videos over there to watch. I, I mean, they're free to watch on YouTube, but my reactions got blocked on YouTube. So I put them on Patreon. So if you want to go see uh, a Haken video that was fantastic, fabulous. I couldn't, I was blown away. Not at all what I thought Hagen was going to be. And also uh, a live in studio Porcupine Tree song too from their latest album. I believe the song is called Walk the Plank. 
All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video and down in the comments. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me for this interview with Marco. And that was uh, really, really interesting. Uh, see if I can find more of this kind of stuff. Or if you know of any, uh, put it my way. I'd like to see it. All right, bye-bye.